Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. We've managed to get rid of one of the soda poppers and there are two more to go. So we're going to head back over to Cops and see if we can figure that one out. It's going to be something to do with this um, machine and this song, isn't it? So here we go. All right, Max, let's hear you play again. No one can beat my skills. <laughs> Uh, we need a few minutes to talk to our client. Uh, all right, let's talk to Don't Chippy. Don't you know any better songs to play? It's kind of important. <laughs> He's just too set in his ways. Okay, do any of the others uh, have any ideas? You've got to stop this fiddle playing contest. Think about it. How humiliating would it be to lose your soul to Specs? Yeah, it's true. We're sorry, but there's just no talking him out of it. <laughs> he keeps saying that he is the best that has he ever been. He's got four whole kilobytes of unbridled arrogance. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Chippy to reconsider. Tell Chippy to reconsider this fiddle playing contest. He is stubborn and will not listen to reason. Once he gets a program in his head, he will not change it. Ah, okay. So long, cops. Stay virtuous. So how does he get the program in his head? Uh, okay, we can't. So long, cops. Can we Stay talk virtuous. to? Stay virtuous. No, okay. So we can literally only talk to him. So long, cops. Stay virtuous. <laughs> okay. Don't you know any better songs to play? It's kind of important. Yep. He's just too set in his ways. Okay, so Don't he's you got. Know any better songs to play? It's kind of important. <laughs> He's just too set in his ways. He's got a cartridge in, right? So do we have a, another cartridge we can put in? Uh, the key, I mean, the key card, maybe? I'm, I'm not sure why that would work, but... It I mean, it works on card key readers in hell. Right, so there, but there are all those um, cartridges down under the street, right? Like down here. So maybe we can get one of these cartridges and see if that will work. There was like the really prominent one that I mentioned before up at the top. There. But I don't... I don't know that we can get that. There's all the game cartridges here. I didn't think the game was that bad. Games based on a license are never a good business decision. You see, there's like one there, but it looks like it's maybe like stuck on this pipe or something. Can we shoot it down? No, he won't even let us try. Can we just shoot the... No, okay. I mean, is there a way we can reach down through the crack and get it? I don't know. What's this again? The karaoke machine. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, and then obviously we've got the other one. Uh, Peepers is in Sybil's place, right? So we've got to try and figure that out too. Do we have anything that we can reach with? There wasn't anything in here, was there? There's nothing interesting left inside. No, okay. What have we got? Oh, we've got the paperclip chain. I mean, that's sort of long, right? So the, the crack is so here. So that's where the Esperanto bookstore went. So, like, all of the cartridges are below, right? Oh, yeah, this is actually going to work, I think. Yep. Mime sweeper. It's so close I can taste it. Easy. <laughs> Shut up, Max. Yeah. Shut up. Did we get it? I think we did. We did. All right. So, funnily enough, that's what uh, the, the the corporate presence was playing, right? Mime sweeper. So let's see. Can this go in here? Might do. Make sure you read the license agreement first, Sam. It's very important. Yeah, everyone Just does that. Just playing. <laughs> ha! Beat that! 
<laughs> and it's uh Bravissimo. I think I saw the face of God. <laughs> You've got to admit it, Specs. <laughs> you just got served like big ziti at a mafia wedding. I don't know what that means, but I don't care. <laughs> you will pay for this, Salmon Max. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that Don't be sad. What would you do with a golden fiddle anyway? <laughs> When this case is over, Max and I will come back to teach you guys about bling. <laughs> Alright. So, um, yeah, that music plays in Strong Bad as well, doesn't it? Quite sure a bit. Sure is cocky ever since he won that fiddle contest. <laughs> the only good thing about his game is the music. <laughs> can we talk to these guys again? No. Alright, there's nothing else so you can on, do. Cops. Stay virtuous! Alright, well, I mean, that solves that particular problem then. So it's literally just peepers now. How we deal with peepers, though, I don't know. Let's talk to Satan again and see if he's got any ideas. We're making progress on foiling the popper's evil schemes. Excellent. When all three of them are defeated, we can ask the shareholders to give a vote of no confidence. I'll be reinstated for sure. We're behind you all the way, Satan. <laughs> Fine. Do you need anything? Can we get you a blanket or something? Might I trouble you to crash on your couch? Oh it's yeah, we already asked this, didn't we? Box. Um, uh... We want to help you to help yourself. Fine. Stay strong. Stay strong, Satan. So... Question is, how are we going to get rid of peepers here? Must be a way. Well, of course there's a way, but... Let's see... I mean, can we get Ape to come back here? Sybil, pay attention. What? Huh? Uh, what about Abe? Does it bother you that Abe's having a bachelor party? No, we should all be free to have a little fun before we're married, <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't be a fool. Show some dignity, Sybil. But he's just... dreamy. It's like for the first time, I'm seeing him for who he really is. So it's, it's gonna be something... Try to stay chaste, Sybil. Mind your own business. So it's going to be something to do with that, isn't it? That line that she said there. But I don't know that we've got anything that can help us here. What was this again? It's Satan's grocery list. Cantaloupe, melons, chicken breasts, oregano, vanilla, and soda. Nice. All right. Um, it's got the... Oh, we've got the remote. So we might be able to use that on the robot outside. But um, let's talk to Peepers again. Oh, baby. <laughs> We'll find some way to break your spell over Sybil. Yeah. Leave this place! We will. Yeah, so maybe we can use the, the robot outside then, after all. Right, let's head over and try it. If not, we'll go back into Bosco's and see if we can maybe convince Abe to go back. Uh, remote. Here I go again, on my own. Uh, okay. We got Bosco's little No, you're never gonna get it. No, you're never gonna get it. So we can... We can move. It's a nice day for a white wedding. <laughs> what are we gonna do, though? Can we... Can we pick up Sam or Max? Maybe we can pick up Timmy. Dust in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. Okay, so that just brings him back there. Can we use it up can we use it to pick Here up Max again? again on my own. You can't touch this. <laughs> no, alright, fine. Hmm. So we can't go into Somebody the office. Blocking our office door from the inside. So that's a big no. So let's head back into Bosco, see if we can do anything in here. Because we actually haven't really done anything in here, apart from... I mean, we've got the rib, but... Let's, uh, let's see if any of these guys have got anything don't to look say. At me. <laughs> oh, I don't feel so good. What? Man, I need a better agent. I can't even get into surveillance photos these days. <laughs> So is there like anything here that we can 
we can use. Nothing's worse for a hangover than an X-ray light board. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, what have I done? Oh, if the paparazzi catches me wearing naught but a scarf, I must, I must contact wardrobe immediately. Hmm. This place is a dive. Dive. <laughs> no bombs here, unless you count this party. <laughs> yeah, so can I we... guess that ain't Penang they're drinking. No, it doesn't look like it. Sybil's the only one for me. Not monster strippers. No. Can we can we get him to go back? Sybil's the only one for me. Not monster strippers. No. It doesn't look like it. Um I mean can we use any I of think these we things? Broke it. Yeah, it does seem that way, doesn't it? Uh, we can't go in there. I hope you've given up the degrading exotic dancing career. Yes, I suppose now I just have to let this body go to waste. Ah, any? It's a cooler full of punch. <laughs> nice, Flint. You got anything to say? Have you finally come to your senses, Flint? Somebody put a Mickey Finn in the happy juice, Sam, and I'm gonna find out who. Right after my head stops pounding. <laughs> All right, fine. Freezes. With a cryogenic freezer, the party never has to stop. True. Whee! Have you finally come to your senses? Oh, I didn't mean to click on Somebody you. put a Mickey Finn in the happy juice, Sam, and I'm gonna find out who. Right after my head stops pounding. All right, fine. Um, it's gotta be something. I hope Bosco's remembering to separate his recyclables. <laughs> I doubt it. All right, so nothing in there, it seems. The only thing we've heard in terms of, like, reference to peepers is, is Timmy. Hi, you, Timmy. Um... What are you doing here? Mr. Maintron will be after me until Daddy gets back from his party. We're playing song lyric trivia. Mr. Maintron's almost as good as me. The <laughs> boy cheats. <laughs> Not surprised. Can you write? Are you old enough to write, Timmy? Oh, f yeah! I've been in the hospital so much that Daddy's been homeschooling me. So far, I've learned to write ampersands, asterisks, number signs, and exclamation points. All the good stuff. I think we spoke about that before, actually. Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Do your f work. So I'm wondering if, if this is, like, important, this stuff. How old is Specs? He's officially nine years old because he was born on a leap day. You lose again. <laughs> All right. Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Do your f work. So, the only one about Peepers here is this one, right? What's Peepers' real name? I already answered that. It's. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Max, but I'm just too good. So yeah, he won't. He just won't let us ask that. So maybe. I don't know. Maybe there's something we've got to do to be able to get him to actually say that. Max is the king of Popper's trivia. Do your f work. <laughs> what is the real What's name? Peeper's real name. I already answered that. It's you lose again. Hmm. Okay. See you later, Timmy. Have a sh day. I get the feeling we need to uncensor that so that we can figure out his name, but the problem is, I'm not really sure how we're gonna do that. I mean, unless Satan can help us out. Um, Poppers are ripping you off. The Poppers are stealing all of your material. Yes, and from my glory days at that. If they're successful with this first round, they'll be unstoppable. Wizard made me do it, just doesn't have the same ring. No, it doesn't. Alright, well... Stay strong, Satan. Fine. I mean, do we have to go back to hell? Is it a case of doing something there, then? We're sort of running out of options a little bit. I mean, it looks like we can go back. Maybe it's like a file or something on him? Or maybe someone here knows it. So then I says to Gunther, I says, Gunther! <coughs> yes? Uh, no. See you later, Jorgen. Yeah, sure. <laughs> mm. So anyway, then I says, 
Alright, nothing there, just some magazines. Don't think there's probably anything in the dioramas anymore, but there might be. I mean, unless... Obviously, Hubliss has a thing with the swearing, right? So can hey, we buddy. do anything with that? What about that time Jimmy Hoffa said, ride the fucking surfboard? Fucking is not on the list. Sorry. No. All right. Well, that's not going to be a Wait thing a either. Bliss. So I'll tell you what. We'll leave it there for this one. We'll try and figure it out in the next one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcadius Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumidin, and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.